Our next guest is a very funny actor, comedian, and you can catch both of us on our new show, I Can See Your Voice. Please welcome the hilarious <laughs> Ken Jung. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Hi welcome back. Ken, I'm so <laughs> jealous you. that Adrian gets to work with another Asian outside of me. Right. <laughs> she, was a little, she was a little jealous. She was a little jealous. I'm supposed to be the well, only Ken, one, bro. Well, you're the you're, you're the more beautiful one, so it's okay. just she oh. has to she has to work with uh she has to unfortunately work with me on this one. So no, I love it. I love it. <laughs> We're just happy you gave her a job, Ken. Now, before we get into the show, though, let's talk first about what is what's on everybody's mind this day, which is this pandemic. Now, you practice mm -hmm. practice medicine for seven years. You're very vocal about COVID. Are people constantly asking you about it because you're a doctor? Oh yeah, uh, it, you know, uh, yeah, absolutely. And I and I I take a, I take it seriously. You know, like my wife's also a doctor, and um, yeah, when Lonnie, when I was doing stand up at the Laugh Factor, I met you when I was still having my medical day job, and so, you know, it, it you know, I really kind of take it upon myself to kind of be up to date on on medical information because I know a lot of people are going to ask me and and my wife who's still a practicing doctor is really good about just kind of you know kind of making sure you know all the info continues to be legit so it really is you know I, I just hope all of you and your families are doing well and I just want you to you know, stay safe and stay healthy, and and um, while we are while we're trying to entertain in this unprecedented time. I was I'm one of those sure. people asking him a million questions. <laughs> I would too, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Ken, game. you're a comedian, and you've made us laugh for years. How important is it to have comedy right now when we're dealing with this pandemic? I mean, comedy in of itself, and and Lonnie would attest to this uh, more than me. But comedy, yeah, it's tough right now in these times. I I think it's really good to find kind of light where there's darkness. You know, I think that's that really is it. So uh, to me, comedy has always just been an escape and and to have a laugh. And and I'm not saying this because I'm promoting the show, but I or, or the show that Adrian and I are on. But I I honestly believe, like I can see your voice, Mass Singer. There are two shows that are just a great escape from reality right now. It's yeah. like musical, it's mystery, it's comedy, it's a little bit of everything. And I, I really do think just kind of at this point in time, while we're staying at home or while we're still social distancing, just um, get your mind off of it once in a while. I think your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Absolutely. Amen. Well, Ken, I definitely hope that you and I can bring a lot of light into people's lives, bring families together to watch our new show. I can see your voice. Now, okay, you and I obviously met on The Masked Singer, but um, I have a little confession. Right. When we were shooting our show, I found out that you lived in the same neighborhood as me. That's right. So That's right. naturally, I just figured I, I saw the car that you drive into work. And I was like, if I can find that in my neighborhood, then I'd know exactly where you live. Just in case there was an emergency that I'd know there was a oh, doctor yeah, yeah. nearby. Sure, sure. In case, yeah, just in case of an emergency. Or if we need, a, before, if we need a socially friend. distanced carpool. So you want me to be your basically your Uber driver while you're sitting in the third row while I'm driving. You need a driver. Basically, you need a driver. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Maybe at all. I just thought I'd confess it to you. That's so awesome. <laughs> That's so awesome. No, I oh love. I, I mean, we found out midway through filming that we lived in the same neighborhood, and yeah. I'm like, when we fully reopen, we should totally, we should just totally carpool to work. It'd be like just chow in the so flamingo, awesome. yo. I want to know. In. I want to know details. Does Ken have weird lawn ornaments at all, Adrian? <laughs> no, no, stunning, oh. stunning. Just, okay. just, just, I know. Just, I like know a where you at. Or it's just like little Mr. Chow gnomes, just like, you know, of all the characters I played in movies, senior Chang gnomes, you know, mass singer gnomes, a flamingo gnome, you know? Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, galore. well, on I Can See Your Voice, contestants have to guess if a singer is good or bad without ever having to hear them sing. So, Ken, looking at us beautiful women here, can you try to guess if you could see our voices? 
Yes. Well, I already know Adrian, who, by the way, Adrian is the smartest judge on the show. She is amazing. Watch the show for Adrian. You're outstanding. I just have to say you're simply fabulous. You make the show. You really do. So I know Adrian. Thank you. I know Adrian can sing. So, so that I do know. So um, I'll just say just kind of, um, you know, looking at, uh, okay, looking at Jeannie. <laughs> Jeannie's really, she's <laughs> okay. So, so, so Jeannie's got the confidence. She has the poise and, you know, she, she's definitely, you know, she's definitely looking fierce. So all that tells me that she can't sing so all that that because she's she's fronting almost with all due respect i'm learning this from too me. much she's i'm doing just saying too much. she's doing too saying, much doing, Ken. maybe doing, doing a too little, little bit too much it's okay i do too much in my whole career my whole career is based on doing too much all i do is overact for a living so i'm gonna find out where you okay, live Ken. What what about about back? Don't, Adrian, don't tell you Jeannie where i live what about don't tell Jeannie where i live i live in a du- tell, tell her i live in a duplex all right just don't tell her um <laughs> So, Ken, but, do you but, think Garcelle, Garcelle can sing? You think Garcelle? Oh, that's a good our newest, one. Our coach. Garcelle's, yeah. Garcelle's kind of, she's got kind of this modest vibe, and she's just kind of like, she's got her hair to the side, and like, she knows she's talented, but she doesn't want people to like know that like up front. And I so think. So, yes or no? Her- yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? I, I mean,. No, not really. I, I mean, I'm not a singer. Can I carry a tune? Maybe. Let's hear. But let's I'm not hear. Let's even hear. Try it. About me. Let's no, have the moment of truth. Um, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's, that's good. good. That's a good I think singer. That's better than that's mine. That's a good singer. That's not so. I that's a good I singer? control the narrative. You're a great singer. I win always on the show. Okay, what about me, Ken? You think I can sing? Yeah. Okay. Um. Now. I'm a little bit, I won't lie to you, I'm just a little bit intimidated by Lonnie. I've always have been since I've met her. So I feel um, if I, I feel if I don't say she's a good singer, somehow, Watch somehow I'll pay right. the price when I least expect it. So, Watch you know, I, I just think Lonnie is the, not only a great singer, the greatest entertainer of our generation. Oh, and- oh, yeah. Actually, Lonnie can Lonnie. sing. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, we want to take a look. We want to take a look at the clip of I Can See Your Voice. Well, honestly, everyone here on this stage is pulling for you to win that money. Yes. <laughs> Waiting in the shadows are six secret voices, all claiming to be incredible singers. However, some of them are fakers with voices so bad that your ears will hate you forever. <laughs> and that is a medical fact. <laughs> This was so much fun. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. You can catch us both tonight on the season premiere of I Can See Your Voice on Fox immediately following The Masked Singer starting at 8 p.m.